Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. These are my favorite type of videos to film, and they are my favorite candles of the season. And I especially love them during this time of year, fall. And can I just say, at least here on the East Coast, I'm in Pennsylvania, when the calendar hit fall, the air got crisp, it's chilly at night, it's chilly in the morning, it's a little warm for my liking during the day, but... I'll take it. I just, there's nothing like fall and fall candles. And I say the number one thing about the season is the scent. And the sweet smell of fall candles is the way for fall. I, I just, I get so excited this time of year and I go crazy with my fall candle buying, purchasing, reviewing. And I think this year's lineup, I have five Bath & Body Works candles. I have a few of like normal, regular retail candles, and then I have a few luxury candles because I know a lot of people on my channel like to see the luxury candle content as well. So I'm so excited. I also have, spoiler, my favorite fall fragrance right now. And you can tell I've been wearing it a lot this year. It's my signature for fall. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Starting off with the Bath & Body Works candles, and I feel like out of all these candles, Bath & Body Works candles are the most accessible to the everyday person, and I love some Bath & Body Works candles too. Don't get me wrong. I love wallflowers. I love their candles, their hand soaps. I really do like Bath & Body Works, and they have some incredible, incredible fall fragrances. So I decided to sit through my collection, there's some obvious choices and then two you might not think. Maybe it's very on brand for me on what they are, but let's just get started. The first up is the classic flannel. Oh, there we go, flannel. I love flannel and I think if you've been watching me more recently, I've been a lot more into like the more masculine, more cologne woodsy fragrances and flannel is that. I actually completely finished this one, so I need to get some more flannel in my life. But the notes are fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. And I'm gonna give you a story for every single one and why I pick it as a favorite. So for flannel, it is that sexy man who just got out of the shower, he's putting on a flannel, you're going to the pumpkin patch together, and you just... He, you're cold and he's like, here, take my flannel. And you put it on to keep you warm and you just get that smell of his body wash, the warmth of the bergamot and the mahogany. It is beautiful. It could be a year round fragrance for me, but because I feel like there's like a coolness and crispness of the air in this fragrance, it makes it perfect for fall. And I always have to have flannel in stock and I always burn it every fall. I burned this in my bedroom and I just, I just loved the way that flannel smelled and it just makes me a little sad that I'm single still. But anyway, um, I can enjoy a man in a candle, right? Anyway, next we have Palo Santo. Very on brand for me. I love Palo Santo and all of the things. And this is Palo Santo wood, warm amber and soft musk. Bath & Body Works' says Palo Santo is definitely more fall because it smells... You're going to notice a trend of cedar wood in a few things. Cedar wood is a note that I have grown to love this fall season. Just like a cedar chest. It's very fresh, crisp wood. And with Palo Santo, you're getting that smoothness, that smokiness of the wood. And this is another one. When you burn this... It's just like you have very expensive furniture, you just clean the house, and it's almost as if you're just cleansing the air, which, yeah, natural Palo Santo wood, that's what it's known for. It's almost like another version of a sage. But for me, it just surrounds your home and your space instead of like filling it with fragrance. If someone comes over, they're just like, your home smells beautiful. And you have a Palo Santo candle burning. It's it's just a really amazing, amazing background fragrance and it blends with anything. Like this is one you could burn in your living room and then 
to have different fragrances going in other rooms of the home. And this just really complements everything else and makes everything else just smell divine. Now, this, I feel like there's no fall Bath & Body Works or just fall candle in general without classic leaves. And the packaging this year on the White Barn, stunning. I really like it. Leaves, if you don't know what leaves smells like, it's crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. Yeah, I mean, it's like mauled apple cider on the stove. And I actually only have two and a half because apple's not a main note in one of them, apple fragrances. And apple, I really do love for fall. But this year, there's not a ton that I'm just like burning all the time. Now, these are not the only fall candles I'm burning, of course. I have so many fall candles I love, but for the most part, Leaves is that quintessential warm, mauled apple cider fragrance. I love this in the kitchen. That's like the main area that I burn it in just because it walks through the house and your kitchen is typically that food centered space. So this and my next one are typically like my food kitchen fragrances and leaves is just stunning. I'm also gonna leave links to every single candle down below so you can just directly shop. Can you guess the other one? Pumpkin pecan waffles. I mean, if there's ever a scent, it's pumpkin pecan waffles. And I was over one of my best friend Brian's homes uh, the other night, and he actually just got a Bath & Body Works candle haul in the mail, and there's pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm like, you do not strike me as that type of guy. Like, he likes black tie, mahogany teak wood, all those like woodsy fragrances. And I was like, pumpkin pecan waffles? And he goes, it's amazing in the kitchen. So see, get your man a pumpkin pecan waffles candle. And this is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I'm like getting so excited because I can already smell it. And it doesn't matter how like basic it is. Pumpkin pecan waffles just has my heart. Like I could literally just sit here with this candle all the time. I love it. It's sweet. It's gourmand. It's bakery. It's foodie. If you love yourself some rich, decadent fragrances, and I can burn pumpkin pecan waffles year round. It doesn't really strike me as pumpkin. It just strikes me as rich, decadent, loaded butter maple waffles. And again, another kitchen staple. We'll always have it every fall. Now this one I feel like does not get a ton of love in the candle world, but it is autumn day. And I actually have this in a wallflower in my entryway right now, which is why I decided to pull the candle and start burning it these last few days. This is beautiful. It is crisp green apple, fig, white birch, and cedar. So again, we have that cedar wood, but I think what's unique about this is the fig. And I think people either love fig fragrances or they don't. To me, they are in my top 10 of notes. It is beautiful. It's earthy, it's sweet. And then you have the apple, which gives it that extra crispness that makes it more fall. Because I feel like fig is more of a fall fruit, but blended with the apple, the white birch, and the cedar wood, you're getting the outdoorsy, you're getting the freshly opened windows, you're getting the sweetness of the fig with the crisp tartness of the apple. It's beautiful. I've been burning this so much. Uh, it is a staple every year. I just don't feel like it gets a ton of love, but when you burn it, it really sets the mood in your home for like a different type of fall, a more fresh, maybe on those warmer fall or autumn days when you want something just a little bit more sweet and a little bit more different than just apple or pumpkin or spice. I think autumn day is a great choice. And if you've never tried it, I highly, highly suggest it. So those were the Bath & Body Works candles. Now let's move on to regular retail. We have Yankee Candles Cider House. Now this is an apple fragrance, but let me tell you, it is such a different apple. In my opinion, it's not spiced. It truly smells like apple cider is being made before all the cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg. It's just all the apples being peeled in big wooden barrels. So like in a cider house, I've burned this year after year after year. It never gets old. I just, I love it so much. It touches my heart. It warms my soul because 
I feel like every apple scent out there is like apple cinnamon and Yankee doesn't always do it right. But let me tell you, Yankee Candle Cider House is one I will always buy every year. So I'll finish this one this year, be satisfied, get another one next year. If you want another like different take on apple without the spice, try Cider House. It, the throw is great. The performance is great every year. When it came out a few years ago, I was like, this is going to be a hit. And it is. It's definitely a classic fall favorite every year. Now, please don't roast me. I know, I know this brand was featured in my worst candle brands ever video. The brand, I still don't love the performance of the candles. I'm focusing on the scent. I'm focusing on the scent. And that is Woodwick's Humidor. Humidor from Woodwick, the fragrance, incredible. The burn, not so much. However, I will sacrifice a crappy burn for this scent. This is the epitome of cigar. Ooh. That is the epitome of cigar smoke. It's smoky, it's woodsy, but there's a sweet, sweet, sweet wood that rounds it all out, almost like a cherry wood. Not like cherry fruit, but like a cherry wood. Super sweet, so beautiful. And one of my friends, um, when she got married in the groomsmen room, I was part of the wedding. We actually burned a humidor candle. So every time I smell this, I'm just reminded of that day. And it was a very special day. It was a very hot day, but it was very special. And humidor is a classic. I love it. I will get it every year, no matter performance wise or not. This is a great different type of like smoky woodsy fragrance. The next candle is not necessarily retail and it's not luxury either. It's sort of in the middle. It's my friend's candle company, 1820 House. So this is the top 1820 signature collection, hand poured in Ohio. And this fragrance is vanilla, santal and coffee bean. I buy this every single year from her. Again, I will link these candles down below. This is my favorite coffee candle because it truly smells like roasted, roasted coffee beans, but the vanilla Santal, so it's like Santal is French for sandalwood. It is a very smooth, creamy vanilla coffee. And the sandalwood to me smells like you're walking truly into a coffee shop. It's almost like the wood of the tables, the wood menu sign, all things like that are captured in the essence of the vanilla santal and coffee bean fragrance. It's so good. It's so warm. And the throw on this one is incredible. It's another one I buy every year. And I like to have a coffee fragrance in the house during the fall. Now let's move on to the last three, which are more luxury fragrances. The first one is currently sold out. I'm still going to link it down below. It is from my friend Preston Conrad, and this is the Upstate Candle. Preston Conrad actually has a boutique in New York City. He's such an incredible like lifestyle influencer. He lives my Upstate New York dream. That's eventually I would love to live in Upstate New York. In the Adirondacks, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. He lives in the Catskills, but it's just, it's a beautiful area. It's serene, it's quiet, and I have to pick one of their candles because Upstate is black pepper and like smoky. And again, cedarwood. So you're getting more of that sharpness and that spiciness of black pepper. I love this one in the bedroom too because of that spiciness, that smokiness. And when you burn this, these were one of the first three fragrances that he came out with. The Upstate Candle really captures more of like the evening in the fall. The more you're staying at home, you're more cozy and you have that like smoky black pepper. Really, really like this one. It is sold out currently online. You can get the shower gels and the lotions too, I believe. I have to pick up a shower gel or a hand wash in this. It's really, really nice. I love, I love more, like I said, smoky warm scents and I love black pepper in wax. So this just really hits the bill for like a bedroom fall fragrance. It would not be a fall fragrance or candle video if I did not include a diptyque candle. And the diptyque candle of choice for me this fall is Chen. Now Chen, I have repurchased and repurchased and repurchased many, many, many times. I already have lit this one. You can barely tell because they burn so clean. This is Oak Tree. Now this, in the best terms possible, smells like the 
very good version of Home Depot. I know Home Depot is just like a home, de <laughs> like a home store, home improvement store, but Chen smells like what you picture the wood section of Home Depot to smell like. I know, crazy, I don't want my house to smell like Home Depot. It doesn't smell like Home Depot. It smells like all the woods together. That's it. Just, it smells like trees. It smells like oak trees. It smells like cedar wood trees. It smells like birch trees. All the trees together, but mainly focused on that oak wood, which is more like a seasoned wood. Um, don't think of it as spicy though. Think of it as a true seasoned wood. I remember when I first walked into a Diptyque Boutique and I picked this up, I was like, this is magic. Like, this is magic. I, I have to try it. So I bought one. And that was it. I think this is like my sixth Chen candle. I actually think I'm going to light this tonight. I love this so much. Yep. I, Chen is Chen is fabulous. If you like, like woodsy scents, you have to. Last but not least, this is a new to me brand. I've burned a few of their candles. I want to do a nice video once I fully understand the brand completely. This Glass House Fragrances Movie Night. Now I'm showing you the box because these boxes are stunning. Now this is a fairly new to the US luxury candle brand. It is an Australian based candle company, but they did just launch in the US and I've been so impressed. Now they are a luxury candle brand, so they are pricey, but they have so many different really unique fragrances, but something that sets them apart from the other luxury brands they have gourmand fragrances. And you know me, I love gourmand fragrances. Anything like foodie, bakery, anything like that has my name right on it. And this guy, I, I've been getting ads for them on Instagram because I'm in the candle world, I'm in the fragrance world. So my Instagram is full of fragrances and all these new brands. I could not even imagine trying all of them in the world. I don't have enough time or hours in the day, but I was like, this brand is so intriguing to me. And I've made my cart and I've deleted my cart and I made my cart and I deleted my cart. And then my friend Josh here on YouTube touched the fire twice. He made a video. And my friend Mags Loves Candles, who is an Australian girl on Instagram, I'll also link all them down below, talks about glass house fragrances and how much they love them. I'm like, I have to do it. I added them to my cart, got them. And this guy, for one, the packaging, Stunning, okay? Stunning. Double wicked, which you don't see a lot of in uh, luxury candles. This is called Movie Night. Lose yourself in an olfactive cinematic journey with swirls of vanilla ice cream, decadent almond-topped waffle cones, and caramelized popcorn. Dim the lights. It's showtime. Right? First, I've smelled so many waffle cone fragrances and none of them hit the mark. Let me tell you, as a Jenny's ice cream fanatic, love Jenny's ice cream. When you walk into a Jenny's, they hand make buttercrisp waffle cones all day, every day. This is a waffle cone with, this is like a drumstick without the chocolate. Now, even though there is a chocolate note in here, I would not classify this as a chocolate forward fragrance. This is an almond crusted waffle cone. And if you ever see me, I've talked about this before, like rubbing the fragrance on the top, it's just exposing a little bit more of the wax and getting like the oils up. This is so beautiful, you guys. This, and beautiful might not be the right word because it is like more gourmand. I've already burned through one. It is just, incredible. I'm actually burning in season in my bedroom now, which is a pumpkin cake fragrance. I mean, their scents are amazing. And this one is no exception. It truly smells like a homemade waffle cone filled with the best vanilla ice cream in all of the land. And it's, it's a, it's a crisp waffle cone. Like it's cooked. It's not raw. It's not batter. It's a truly cooked fresh waffle cone. I need more of this. And I believe this is limited edition. I hope it stays. There's a whole line of, they call it sugar coated, I believe is the collection that this is in. It's like a salty caramel, so many good ones. I definitely wanna order some more. I wish I'm actually going to New York this weekend and I have a few candles that I wanna purchase when I'm there. 
but I wish there was a Glass House Boutique there because I would totally pick up more. So Glass House Fragrances, you need to open a boutique in New York City because I will be there. And yeah, this is, this is beautiful. If you like luxury candles and you want the best bakery waffle cone fragrance, you have to pick up Movie Night. Any of these are 100% recommendations for me. There's not one that I would not recommend. However, you have to try that one in particular, hands down. Screams Fall. Oh, why does it scream fall? Let's talk about that. It screams fall movie night. You're cuddled on the couch, whether it's by yourself or for me, my cats, or your significant other, and you're watching an amazing movie. Does that not scream fall? I mean, you could do that all year long, but especially in the fall, to me, that's just, it's the best. The weather outside is a little bit chilly. You're watching a great movie, whether it's a scary movie. To me, I like romantic comedies. Those are just, my favorite are just comedies in general. And yeah, that candle hits home and I don't know what I want to light now. I mean, I'm burning um, a sweet pump, vanilla and sweet pumpkin from Anthropology. Really like that. It's another great candle, another runner up, but I haven't had enough experience with it. Anyway, whew, so many great fall candles, you guys. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven candles to talk about. Well, I already talked about them. Eleven candles that I talked about. Now let's finish with my fragrance. And my fragrance of choice this fall is Super Cedar from Byredo. I'm almost done with it. It is so beautiful. Everywhere I go, I get compliments. And I dropped the cap on the floor. This, it just smells like true cedar wood. And I was talking about before, I love cedar wood. This is my signature scent this time of year. It just smells like you took a beautiful sweater or a beautiful scarf or a jacket out of like a cedar lined closet and you put it on. There are notes of cedar wood, rosewood, vetiver, no, or yeah, vetiver, and I believe a, like a musk. So it is a very, the rose and the cedar wood make it smell like it's truly worn on your body. This is almost like a third skin. It's, you have your skin, you have your clothes, and then this is like your third skin. It just, just compliments you. It syncs well with my pheromones. It is stunning. It lasts all day. Everywhere I go, I get compliments on it. I'm almost out of the bottle and thinking this New York trip, I need to pick up another bottle of this cologne. Uh, it's, it's stunning. It's unisex. It's great. I think women would smell fabulous wearing this. If I walked down the street and I smelled this, I'd be like, this woman knows her shit. And this is from Stockholm, Sweden. It's a Swedish uh, fragrance house. They have a boutique in New York City and they're opening more boutiques around the US, like Los Angeles, Chicago. So they are popping up. I do believe they're available in Nordstrom and Saks, but Byredo Super Cedar, it's one of my favorite colognes this season. This and Santal 33 from Le Lombo are classics. Anyway, Thank you all so much for watching. This is about a 25 minute video. I don't wanna drag it on too much longer, but I hope you guys are having an incredible start to your fall. I am loving this weather. It is simply the best, quote my girl, Tina Turner. And let me know what are your favorite fall candles this year? Fragrances, body soaps, candles, anything. I just, I love all things fragrance. I love talking to you guys about fragrance and I want to know which ones you've tried. Have you tried any of these? Are there any that you want to try? Again, I will leave the links down below for all of these candles to purchase individually. If you're interested, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter. I love you all so much. Have an incredible day. Bye, guys.